My name's Michael O'Hare, ex-CEO, life coach, and the founder of the Best in Business Seminar Series. And today, I'm going to share with you how Michael O'Hare experienced inclusion. In 2007, whilst I was attending a five-day business conference on acceptable facial hair in the workplace, my wife, Masunda, and my son, Oxford, went on vacation back to Nigeria. However, she soon texted me, letting me know she wouldn't be returning. I was absolutely fine about it, and I kept on telling everyone this, repeatedly. However, my doctor, with whom I have comprehensive private medical insurance with, advised me to go to a men's group to talk about it. I agreed to go, despite the fact I was absolutely fine about it. I went expecting to see fellow white-collar corporate business execs like myself trying to show they were in touch with their feminine side, but being absolutely fine about it like me. Instead, I was greeted by six men, none of whom were clean-shaven, sat on plastic elementary school-style chairs in a circle. They were blue-collar workers, manual laborers, factory folk, a couple of whom were even unemployed claiming welfare. They were crying and sobbing on each other's shoulders. It was no wonder their partners had left them. We had nothing in common. But then, one of them remarked that he had found a legal financial loophole, a way of getting a full government rebate on all the alimony we had paid to our absconded partners and children. Well, I can tell you, those tears became cheers as we all stood up and shook hands like proper men completing on a lucrative business deal. In that moment, realizing that together we were all in line for sizable refund, I, Michael O'Hare, experienced inclusion.